our responsibility is to get people very comfortable with coming in and exploring their ideas and asking questions. What inspires artists? What inspires people to make things? Why is it important? The Donkey Mill's mission is to enrich the community through cultural and arts programs. The Donkey Mill Arts Center was started uh, in 1995, 25 years ago. We were just a bunch of volunteers, mainly, and we did everything on our own. We had this idea, not necessarily of starting a foundation, but sort of promoting the arts in general in Kono. The center consists of our beautiful gallery, a community kitchen, a fibers program, a print studio, youth and family programs, and then we have our largest studio, which is a ceramic studio. Clay being the material that it is, it's so accessible to anyone of any skill level, any age group. I have worked with blind people, I've worked with very young, very old, and it's just this medium that just really brings people together. I found the donkey mill in 2007. I was really needing clay in my life and they were preparing for their big fundraiser, Cool Fusion. Cool Fusion is a festival of a thousand bowls. The concept was we make a bunch of bowls and we serve this cold noodle dish. Hiyashi salmon is the dish that we serve. Hiyashi means cool. Salmon is the noodle. So cool. And then fusion was that mix of we're going to create an event that incorporates art and culture. We bring performers and we collaborate with Kalakahe Culinary Department and the kids learn about Hiyashi Salmon and they help us make all the food for 500 people. You pay your ticket, you get a bowl, and you get to enjoy your meal in this beautiful handmade bowl. I meet people in our community all the time and they say, what's the date of the next Cool Fusion? And they know to come early if they want to have the best selection. And a lot of people then want to take a class and they want to make something themselves. That can be this window into the creative experience of them trying something new. I think it has an effect that goes beyond the day of the event, where it goes into people's lives and, and changing their understanding of handmade objects. How can art be part of healing? What is our current community like dealing with? What's the struggles? And then how does art then be part of that solution? I would say an uh, art center is necessary in any village town, city, and if there wasn't an art center, I'd say that it'd probably be a dead place to be. <laughs> I hope that the next 25 years involve just more access to as many people as can possibly be reached, because I think we need it as a culture and we need that healthy creativity. After 25 years, I feel pretty excited for the future.